It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. Number one, the second day of the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on the nomination of Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the United States Supreme Court began with committee chairman Senator Graham asking about her ability to provide her own opinions. As Republican senators questioned the Trump nominee in an effort to demonstrate her independence, Democratic senators sought to get a clearer picture on how a Justice Barrett might rule on cases directly directly connected to Donald Trump. This included the upcoming challenge to the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare and a possible case about the outcome of the 2020 presidential election. Number two, leaders of the Christian faith are stepping up and using their influence to persuade fellow Trump-supporting Christians to vote for Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden. The group that has formed a new super PAC called Not Our Faith will begin a six-figure TV and digital ad campaign geared toward evangelical and Catholic voters who supported Donald Trump in 2016. The first ad discourages Christians from supporting Trump, saying they don't need Trump to save them. Number three, with just 20 days until Election Day, the pandemic continues to grow in the United States, quickly approaching 8 million confirmed infections. Cases are on the rise in 39 states, and only three are seeing fewer cases. Idaho, South Dakota, and Wisconsin now have the three highest rates of new infections in the country, while Texas is on track to surpass California as the state with the most cases. Number four, the global pandemic has put the brakes on international travel. But when the world reopens, be ready for the ABC Travel Green Book, a guide to modern day black tourism. The self-published book is the brainchild of Martinique Lewis. The diversity consultant and travel lover noticed a lack of diversity in traditional travel publications and decided it was up to her to solve that problem. Through the book and her organization, Black Travel Alliance, Lewis pushes the travel industry to be more inclusive and speak more directly to the community of black travelers who contributed $63 billion to the U.S. travel and tourism economy in 2018. Number five, Atlanta Federal Reserve Chief Raphael Bostic is sounding the alarm on the century's old pernicious and persistent racial wealth gap. Out of the 12 federal regional banks, Bostic is the only black person on the Federal Reserve's Policy Setting Committee, meaning there's only one African-American with a direct say on U.S. monetary policy. He's calling out the impact of long outlawed policies, including how redlining blacks out of white neighborhoods continues to influence the ability of minority families to amass wealth. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Myra J. and Stephen Hill as we discuss today's top headlines and more. That's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.